Hey everyone, it is Kiki Garcia and it is time for another episode of Mental Mosaic. Now, I'm excited about today um, because I have a very special guest with me, Tamika Cherry. She's a influencer, also a travel enthusiast. I love this, but what I love the most, well, I don't love it for either one of us, but she is a fellow migraine sufferer. And I know uh, personally, I suffer from migraines. And when I'm going to pack for my trips, I always make sure I have my migraine um, kit with me. And it does cause me stress before I leave because I think to myself, oh no, I don't want um, my trip to be ruined. I don't want to have to worry. I always think I'm alone, but I'm really not alone at all, mm -hmm. am I, Tamika? You are not. As a matter of fact, um, Condé Nast Traveler, along with Biohaven Pharmaceuticals, did a survey of 500 people, 500 people with migraine, and more than one third of those people said traveling is a trigger for their migraine. And so with with that, most of them said that migraine impacts their travel behavior. So getting there and being able to, you know, do what you normally do on a trip, mm -hmm. migraine impacts that. And then almost 94%, I'm sorry, almost all of the respondents, actually 94% said the thought of having a migraine attack while traveling is stressful. So, you know, at a time when you should be excited about what you're about to do and the fun you're about to have, it can be very stressful for people like you and I who suffer from, from migraine. I know. It's just, I hate that. So a while uh, back in December, actually, I, my parents uh, live in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, or did live there. And it's a trek to get from there to here. Um, and I only had a few days and I got hit with a migraine as soon as I got there because of traveling and flight delays and one thing after another. Yeah. And my whole trip was just trying to fight and get rid of this migraine when you just yeah. want to go to bed and not do anything. Right. That's yeah. That's what I had to do. Yeah. And so you said you take your, you know, what, what you need to help you with your migraine. I'm the same way. And what, what helps me is Nurtec ODT. I make sure I pack Nurtec ODT, which is an FDA approved medication that treats and prevents migraine attacks in adults. I love it because it's a tiny pill that basically I just pop in my mouth and it dissolves. I can take it anytime, any place. Um, I don't even have to have water with it. It dissolves. And I love that, um, you know, I can I have that that I can take with me to help when I when I feel like, you know, I'm going to have a migraine or even if a migraine just, you know, just comes, I'm able to take Nurtec ODT because if I have a migraine, it can stop it. And if I, you know, am partaking in something that may trigger, be it being out in the sun a lot, you know, having gluten, drinking wine, some of the things you really want to do when you're on a vacation, mm -hmm. um, I have Nurtec ODT to help me so that I can enjoy those things. It, it, it can basically stop the migraine. I can take it and it can stop the migraine before it even happens when I know that I'm going to be having any kind of trigger. So I, I love that. And, I, and I'll have to share really quickly too, that um, I've experienced uh, a little bit of nausea. It's a side effect with an Ortec ODT along with stomach pain and indigestion. But for me, it, it just helps me so much that I don't even think about the nausea. I, I just think about I'm here, I'm in the moment, I'm enjoying sun, I'm enjoying pizza, I'm enjoying a glass of wine, you know, just really enjoying myself and being present in the moment. And I just, I just love that, that I have that now. Let's be honest, when no, those migraines hit, you'll do anything. Like, I'll yeah. take any side effect. <laughs> you can yeah, it's minor, it's minor. Yeah, yeah. And I love how I know, I know when it's coming. I can yeah. know. Um, yeah. And this sounds like I can take this when I start feeling the, the symptoms. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's the great thing about it. it. It, you know, even if you don't know, if you get a migraine, you can take it and it can, it can stop it. But then if you already know, Hey, I know that I'm, I've been outside or I've, the pollen is going to get me. I know I'm going to have a migraine. You can take it and it can help stop it before it starts. 
I'm calling my doctor as soon as we're done. Here. I was going to say that. I was going to tell you, be sure to talk to your doctor about it. Ask your doctor about it. And also, you know, if you want to um, find out more information or do a little bit of research, you can go to nurtech.com. There's plenty of information there too. Um, the website is nurtech.com, N-U-R-T-E-C.com. Perfect. Now, I know like me, um, you love fashion. I love fashion. <laughs> I noticed on my last trip, a lot of people were um, not quite in their pajamas, but not dressed up either when it can't, comes to traveling. And wow. I know everyone blames it on, well, I want to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable. I think, and I think maybe you could back me up on this. There's a way to be ways to be comfortable when you're traveling where you're not wearing your yoga pants 24 seven. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, I always have this conversation with my girlfriends who are also uh, influencers. You know, you just never know when you're traveling, you never know who you're going to meet. Think about going into an airport and all the people who go through the airport, all the people who are traveling, that is your time to look your best. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to have heels and a dress. There are comfortable clothing. There are comfortable pieces that you can wear where you can look put together and look great and also feel comfortable. So when you are traveling, what are some things that you do to keep the stress down and also look great? <laughs> I love that. So for me, it's all about planning and preparing because if I, that's a big stressor when I'm not, when I don't have a grip on things or when I, when I don't feel that I am prepared. So I like to schedule everything as far in advance as I, as I can, I get to get, you know, I get to get discounts as, as well on that. So that's a plus. I also like to um, make sure I have an itinerary so that when I'm traveling, I know what I'm going to do, whether if it's on the beach, you know, hiking, sightseeing, I know what area, I research the area to see where I want to go. I talk to friends who make recommendations and I, I put together an itinerary so I know exactly what I'm going to do, where I'm going to be so that I'm not there while I'm on vacation, planning my vacation. I'm, be, I'm able to be in the moment, living, loving and enjoying myself. And I, I like to, I like to travel with nice, you know, I, I think a great pair of joggers are good. You just have to make sure that you have the great material. Um, you know, you don't want sweatshirt joggers, but they make, you know, a nice linen. I love to travel in linen because even if it gets wrinkled, it doesn't matter because that's how it's supposed to be. I love linen. I love layers. So, you know, like a nice tank top and then maybe like a cardigan and a nice pair of espadrilles, which can be very, very comfortable. So um, yeah, that's, that's typically what I do, especially when I travel in the summer. You know, I kind of feel like we're kindred spirits. So I think so too. <laughs> yeah. So let me see if you can back me up on this one. Okay, so I believe that part of the relaxation of going on vacation is also the preparation beforehand. So Absolutely. for me, I like to start packing, getting things ready, two weeks, sometimes even a month beforehand, just to have an idea in my head where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I'm wearing, what I'm bringing. Absolutely. Am I wrong? Because I don't understand these people who pack the night before. No, you're not wrong. And I think that's good uh, as a migraine sufferer. For me, I, I start, when I plan the trip and it could be a year out, I automatically, my mind goes to, okay, what are we doing? What, what am I wearing? What am I taking? Now I'm not going to go out and I'm not going to start packing a year in advance, but I'm going to have a mental note of what it is. I want, how I want to look, what I want to wear and where I want to go. And so I start, you know, again, mental notes and putting those looks together. So I, I'll do something six months out. Again, I, I may not actually be putting those clothes in the suitcase, but I have, I have in my mind what I know what I want. So that as, you know, time is going by, I'm able to, if I'm out shopping and I see something, I'm like, oh, that's on my list. Let me grab this now. That's one less thing I have to worry about. I love it. I want to talk to you again. Can, uh, can we invite you back again to be on the- Absolutely. I'd love it. Oh, I'd love, I love it. it. I love it. I bet one last thing. I bet you uh, unpack when you get to the hotel as well. Yeah, I have to. I have to because I can't live in a suitcase. I have to take it out. I have to see what is what. And so I know how to basically distribute my outfits for the day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> so tell us once again, where can people find out about the migraine drug? And also where can they find out more about you? 
Perfect. Yeah. I would say talk to your doctor. They'll be able to give you a lot of information about Nurtec ODT, but then you can also go on to nurtec.com, N-U-R-T-E-C.com. And I'm on Instagram at cherry picked style. And my website is cherry picked style.com. I love it. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah, I, I loved it. Thanks for having me. <laughs>